So one of the great things about my job is just continually scanning the industry and the result of that is I see five really key trends for next year. Um, these are the automation of everything, data storytelling, mobile BI version 2, natural language query and how that's changing and analytics everywhere. So the automation of everything, really when you look at what's happening in the space today, um, this, and you can read a lot about it from Gartner, etc., especially around the augmented analytics, everyone is on the automated bandwagon. There's not a vendor in the BI space that's not thinking about how they can automate what they do. It's been driven by a skilled shortage in the industry. Everyone wants to do more with less. And so how do we shorten the time to value in everything we do? And we do that by automation. And so you see that in data science, you know, uh, products like Data uh, Robot doing that. You see it in uh, data preparation tools, trying to get smarter and better and, and making that happen a lot faster. And you see it in the front end delivery of dashboards and automated insights, et cetera. And so I really think that next year you're gonna see a lot of product coming to market that is gonna be featuring, if you like, the AI for BI componentry and lots of automation uh, coming in that space. The second key trend is really data storytelling. And what I mean by this is I've spoken to a lot of people lately uh, in organizations as well as analysts, and they're talking about this new role, the data interpreter or the business data scientist. And there's this real perception of need that yes, we've delivered dashboards and we've got these tools that are out there in the hands of business, but the businesses, business users don't understand what it means. And so how do we build the narrative and the context around the data we're delivering? And we do that via data storytelling. And already in the market, you know, for me, the sort of, you know, when do you know things are kind of hot is when you start to see startup vendors trying to build product in the space, trying to do something really unique. And certainly we've seen a couple of people starting to play with this concept. And in fact, you know, I was talking to a huge, um, one of the top five, advertising firms globally, and they themselves had actually built a data storytelling platform internally uh, because there was no other product on market for that. And so this kind of intersective need I see is gonna drive new product very quickly in the space. The third one that I think is really interesting is mobile BI. So historically, mobile phones, um, especially the iPhone, it comes out, everyone's excited. How do I get a mobile app onto that? Well, the first thing you do is just replicate the desktop experience. And we now know that that just hasn't worked, that hasn't been successful. And you do see some really leading vendors like Oracle doing something really interesting stuff on the mobile space. And I think you're gonna see more of that next year where vendors are gonna redesign and redefine the experience of what analytics looks like on a phone versus a desktop. Everyone's multi-device, you've got your desktop, you've got your phone. When you're out on the road or you're at home, you want a different experience to what you get from your laptop or your desktop. And so I think there was some really interesting stuff there coming out as well. The fourth one that I think is kind of a bit contentious and a bit interesting at the same time is natural language query. So we've seen a lot of vendors bring out uh, search-based BI where you can type in a question and get a result. And I don't think that's taken off. I mean, you can see it in the market, you can see the way uh, those vendors are kind of deprecating that product, if you like, or not emphasizing it as much. But where I think the real opportunity for natural language query is, is through voice. And again, this comes back down to the mobile experience. If I can be on the run, if I can be out in the field, and if I can ask a question, like I'd ask Siri, you know, if I can ask my BI application how my numbers are going for the month in Europe, then that's a really good use case for natural language query in a voice context. And I think we'll start to see that. And again, Oracle, I think, has done a really good job with that. And the last one, analytics everywhere. So, I think there's this overwhelming pressure on the industry to change the way in which people experience analytics. Is that the dashboard and every, every user having to come to the centralized point to consume analytics, I think those days are numbered. We already see it with vendors like Looker building content for Slack, et cetera, and, and thinking about how do you disaggregate your product. And we'll see a lot more of that. I think you'll see more Slack interfaces, you'll see people thinking about email interfaces for, for consuming content. You'll see mobile changes in mobile interfaces, um, story interfaces, et cetera. And, you, and so ultimately, rather than people coming into a BI application, the content will be pushed out to where people want to and need to consume their analytics. And that might be embedded use cases as well.